deep seek and huawei are about to release a chip which is going to challenge nvidia's monopoly this is the big news which has been shared by deep seek on their wechat page and we are going to cover it in this video deep seek ai the same company behind some of the hottest large language models in china just dropped a pretty big hint on their official wechat page they revealed that the next generation of china made chips is about to hit the market and with it a brand new low precision data format called ue8 m0 fp8 now that name sounds like something out of a math textbook ue8 m0 but don't worry i am going to break it down in plain english compare it to what nvidia is doing with their blackwell gpu and explain why this could be a real headache for nvidia's near monopoly on ai hardware so what exactly is this ue8 m0 fp8 so let's start with the basic when we train or run ai models we are really just doing a whole lot of math with numbers but the format of those numbers matter a lot especially when we are trying to save memory and speed things up traditionally ai training used 32 bit floating point numbers fp32 but that's huge and wasteful over the years we have moved to smaller and smaller format like fp16 bf16 int8 and now fp8 fp8 just means floating point 8 bits wide it's super compact and it saves tons of memory and power but not all fp8 formats are the same nvidia for example has something called as e4 m3 and e5 m2 which are different ways of splitting those eight bits between the exponent and the mantissa now huawei's new format which is ue8 m0 is something quite interesting and it is a bit different too think of it like their homegrown version of what nvidia calls mx fp8 or micro scaled fp8 in simple words instead of applying one scaling factor to an entire batch of numbers it can scale things more flexible which makes it easier to represent the crazy wide range of values that appear in ai training this matters because transformer models like gpt llama or deep seek zone models produce some wild numbers during training you can have tiny fractions close to zero and huge spikes in thousands. Formats like int8 cannot handle that well because they are rigid. But FP8 and especially this new UE8M0 can handle that dynamic range much, much better. Now, why this matters for Huawei's chips is a real burning question. I would also request you to please like the video and subscribe to the channel before we proceed further as that helps a lot. I'll be very grateful. I also want to quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI, which is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures and you can find their link in video's description. Okay, so now coming back to this deep seek stuff, deep seek even uh, mentioned something very interesting that they trained their latest model deep seek v3.1 using this ue8 m0 fp8 to ensure it's compatible with micro scaling data formats like nvidia's mx fp8 in plain plain english that means that the model trained on huawei's hardware will also be able to run efficiently on nvidia's hardware and vice versa that's huge that's really huge if that is even 80 percent uh, true because i'm saying true because i would really want it to work when i see it and when it is released but still i think uh, this is amazing because compatibility has always been one of the biggest barriers and here's where it gets spicy some of the people i have talked with in deep seek um they don't want to you know reveal their name they're suggesting these new huawei chips could be cuda compatible now that's a huge big claim uh, but i really don't want to dwell much on it but i couldn't resist sharing that it is not confirmed but let's wait now if you're not familiar by the way cuda is nvidia's secret sauce it is a pro programming toolkit 
that makes their GPU so dominant in AI. Developers write code in CUDA and it just works across NVIDIA hardware. Replacing CUDA has been a nightmare for competitors and it's why NVIDIA still dominates even though other companies have solid chips. But if Huawei can deliver CUDA compatibility, even partial and combines it with cheaper price point, suddenly NVIDIA's moat doesn't look so secure anymore. I really want to uh, compare this new uh, chip and want to stack this up against NVIDIA's latest and greatest, the Blackwell architecture, which powers the new, um, not that new now, the B200 GPUs. Blackwell doesn't just stop at FP8. It goes further, introducing microscaling FP8, as we all know, but also even lower formats like fp6 and fp4 these are bleeding edge numbers formats designed to push efficiency to the max and that is really really uh, good stuff from nvidia nvidia's mx fp8 basically does block level scaling so instead of one scale factor for a whole tensor it assigns a scale factor to smaller chunks like 32 numbers at a time that keeps accuracy high while still getting the benefit of fp8 now this uh, Huawei's stuff, which is quite interesting, it also looks like their take on their exact idea. So in effect, this Huawei's UE A times zero, they are saying that we have got our own FP8 scaling, we are matching Nvidia, and we are going to use it in our next chip. That is quite interesting. But let's be also a bit real here. Right now, if we are training cutting edge AI model, Nvidia is the choice. So Google has TPUs, AMD has MI300 and Huawei has Ascent chips, but CUDA is the standard. If Huawei actually nails this, if they release Ascent 920 chips with UE A times 0 FP8, CUDA compatible and competitive pricing, suddenly there is a real alternative, especially for China's domestic AI industry and I have no doubt about there. Because Nvidia hardware is either banned or extremely hard to get due to uh, various export restrictions. Think about it. A local chip that is cheaper, designed for AI training, supports the same numerical format, and maybe even run CUDA code. That's exactly the kind of thing that could break uh, this monopoly, at least, you know, across the world. And that is, I think, something everyone would welcome. Nothing against NVIDIA, but we all need GPUs which are cheaper, which are available, which are accessible. So the bottom line is Huawei's upcoming chip likely maybe Ascent 920 will feature this new UE8 M0 FP8 format. Their own flavor of low precision floating point design for AI training. It's similar to NVIDIA's MX FP8 and it could make Huawei chips fully competitive for training AI models and inference might be cheaper. So if those chips end up being CUDA compatible and cheaper than NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs, for instance, they could really shake up the market. For now, NVIDIA is still ahead, but I don't think so. That is going to last much longer now. That's it. Let me know what do you think. Share your thoughts, please. And please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.